Greetings, members. I am L'Oreal R. Scott, your president of the Wilkie D. Ferguson Junior Bar Association. I bring you greetings on behalf of the entire board. We pray that you and your family are remaining safe as we soldier through another week of quarantine. By now, some of you may have already had your first Zoom hearings. I just had my second one this morning, which prompted me to share with you some tips on Zoom hearing etiquette. I apologize if this information may seem trite to some of you or if I'm preaching to the choir, but it has to be said. You may have also read the article that came out this week on Law 360 aptly entitled, Put on a Shirt for Your Video Hearings, which captured a judge's dismay about how attorneys were appearing before him via Zoom. Remember, a Zoom hearing is still a formal court proceeding and should be treated as such. We should offer the court the same level of deference as if we were physically in the building, meaning the same rules of decorum still apply. So to that end, tip number one, show up on time. Try to log on to the meeting at least five or 10 minutes early to try to avoid any technical difficulties. Tip number two, be prepared. Know your argument and most importantly, coordinate with the court's chambers to have all of your exhibits pre-marked if you're having a trial or an evidentiary hearing. Tip number three, dedicate a space in your home to hold your hearings. Do not appear before the court from the comfort of your bed or your couch. Remember, you are your biggest brand ambassador. You must always exude excellence and professionalism. Lastly, and of course, saving the best for last, show up to court appropriately dressed that means wear appropriate court attire. No do-rags or scarves, other than for religious purposes, of course. Be presentable. Yes, we are all on quarantine in the safety of our homes, but we are also still working and appearing before the court. The court sees you, opposing counsel sees you, and your clients see you. Your reputation as a professional is still on the line. If anything, think of it as an opportunity to get dressed up for the day. Judges, don't feel left out. We have tips for you as well, but we'll save those for another edition. For now, let's just say you set the tone for your courtroom, whether the hearing is in person or via Zoom. And while Judge Bailey's indictment on, upon attorneys was clearly fair, we're hopeful that he's imploring his colleagues to adhere to the same standards. Family, I hope that you found these tips helpful and insightful. I also hope that the next time I see one of you on one of these hearings, you're bringing your A game. Until next time, stay safe and be blessed.